doing something super cool should honestly only take about four or five minutes or so, even if you are new to Premiere Pro. So first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring the original clip in. And we're just gonna place that right there. And I already have the audio here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate this. All right, so we're gonna just go ahead and press option, bring it back down and bring it under here. And there you go. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna look for that beat drop moment. So we're just gonna go ahead and watch this and wait for that beat drop. It's right there. There you go. At about 3.23 it happens. So what we're gonna do is on this clip, we need to cut out where that beat drop happens. So we're gonna go ahead and use the razor tool, which is gonna be right here. For shortcuts though, you can go ahead and press C. Let's just go ahead and cut right here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go six keyframes over. And what I mean by that is we're just going to go over six times. And it doesn't have to be six times. You can do it however many times you want. And I actually do recommend that you guys experiment yourself with this. You don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing. I encourage you to add your own creativity to this as well. But yeah, go ahead and just go over six times right now. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to go ahead and cut one more time. All right, so we got that cut out and we're going to go ahead and press the selection tool. For shortcuts, you can go ahead and press V. So that is selected. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to select the clip that we cut out right here. And we're going to also duplicate this. So we're going to press option and we're going to drag that up. So let's drag that up. All right, perfect. So now what we're going to do is you can see right here in the effect controls panel, you can see opacity. And with opacity, we're just going to bring it down to 75%. And you can bring it down to 65, 55, however much you want. But for this, I'm just going to do 75%. And right here, you can see that nothing happens. But that is just because we are not finished with it. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go up here to where it says motion. And you're going to see a little stopwatch, a stopwatch icon near position and scale. And we're going to go ahead and click these. And whenever they turn blue, that's good. So what we're going to do next is we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna go over one keyframe, right? And then we're gonna bring this over just a little bit. We're gonna bring it over about right, right here, okay? I'm gonna go over again. We're gonna do the opposite side now. Perfect, I'm gonna go again. I'm gonna do the same thing, except probably not as far. I think last time I was like about right here, we're gonna just bring it a little bit forward this time. Let's do the same thing on this side. I think it was right here. So we're gonna bring it right here. Yeah. And then you can go here. We're gonna do the same thing again, just not as far back. So what we got from that is whenever he picks that ball, you're gonna see some sort of earthquake effect that happens. There you go. What we're gonna do next we're gonna go to the effects panel. All right, so we're gonna search for invert here. And so there's two inverts. You got special audio effects. That's not the one we want. We're gonna go ahead and do the one under video effects. We're gonna drag that onto the top clip right here. All right, and then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring that. And you can see there is a color effect here. Um, that really does add a little bit of something to make it stand out, but I'm not a huge fan of this one. So instead we can go ahead and do a different type of color. I was torn between the red because I think this looks pretty cool and it does go along with this video pretty smoothly as well, just because the background, what he's wearing. So you could do this and it could just be like that or you could stick to the original one that I did. The original one that I used is saturation, which is going to be right here. It's like an RGB effect. So like to me, this is more RGB than the, than the original one, like the white and blue one that you just saw. So let's go ahead and play that back with this effect. And it's very smooth. There you go. But we got one more, one more effect to add to this, just to add a little bit more of a 
trippy vibe to it. So what we're gonna look for is we're gonna look for wave warp. And you're gonna find that under the distort video effects file. You're gonna just drag that on here. And you can see that it's adding a very interesting wave effect to it, right? So what you can do here is you're gonna scroll down you're gonna see the wave type. Right now it's on the sign type of wave. I wasn't a huge fan of this one, but um, you can always adjust the wave speed. You can adjust a bunch of things here. You can do so many things with it, but you can leave it exactly how it is like that, or you can go ahead and do noise. This is the one that I did for it. This one's just more subtle than that one, but it also does add like a, a staticky, effect to it. You can see the static like on his skin right here and it, it looks really cool I think. Excuse my computer here, it's getting a little bit loud. I'm working it a little too hard right now. So you can see once you play that back. There you have it. I encourage you guys to, like I said, mess around with the settings, mess with the wave types, mess with the wave height, the wave width, the degree of it, the direction, the wave speed, the pinning, the phrase. I haven't messed with all of those, but I know that you can come up with very, very interesting stuff like this. If you have any questions at all for me regarding the settings, anything like that, go ahead and comment below and I will be able to help you out with that. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up because that will help me out a lot here. And also consider subscribing as well because I will be posting more videos that have to do with filmmaking, motion graphics, Premiere Pro, After Effects to help you guys out because this is something that I really do enjoy doing and it's a very huge passion that I have. I really appreciate you guys watching this, but I will see everyone next time.